Hello, gamers. Welcome back. To become the most powerful magic users in Dragon's Dogma 2, you will need to acquire the ultimate spells for Sorcerer and Mage, Maelstrom, Meteron, and Celestial Pain. In this video, I will show you where to get the quests and give you a full walkthrough of how to complete them. Now, let's get started. To make your life easier, I recommend you to at least arrive at the first main city, Vinworth before you set up for the quest, because we will be using the ox cart quite a lot. The ox carts in Vinworth can take us to a couple of very important locations. Our first goal is to get to Melv from Vinworth via ox cart, and then walk to Aene's home over here to the north. Now let's depart from North Vinworth's ox cart station. This ox cart's bound for Melv. I'll not take you anywhere till I've had my due. Once we arrive at Melf, we take the route to the left, cross the bridge and walk all the way until we reach Annie's home. Getting to the house, we will find Trisha. Talk to her and she will complain about her grants not allowing her to study magic. Why won't they let me study magic? It isn't fair. Now you can find her grant standing next to her. Just pick them up and drop them outside like this. So you and Trisha can have some private conversation. What is it? Now she will give you the side quest, Spellbound, asking you to find a few grimoires for her. They are basically powerful magic books. She needs five different ones in total, and they are scattered around the world. I will soon show you how to collect all of them. If you find any grimoires, would you bring them to me? So we are to scour for the grimoires on Miss Trisha's list. Now, after you accept the quest, before you set out finding the books, I want you to leave the house and turn left. Very close to the house, there will be a slope leading you up on a hill. On the hill, you can find a statue, a chest, and possibly a cyclop. Make quick work of the cyclop, look under the statue. It's possible you will find any dead body. And from here, you want to revive her. Otherwise, she being dead means we cannot complete the quest. If you don't find her body here, however, there's a different way to bring her back, which I will show you later in the video. Now, that's all of the way, let's go collect our books. The first two books are located in a cave over here on the map. To reach here, we can travel from Ennis home, follow the path north, and enter the mountain's secret cave, pass through the cave and exit from the other side. From here, get back to the main road, and follow the path towards northeast, you will find the waterfall cave. The cave is quite big and very dangerous, so make sure you're well rested and brought enough supplies. I recommend you to reach at least level 25 or above before you attempt this, because you will be facing a very strong Gore Chimera in this cave. To fight him, cut a snake tail to reduce poison attack, then destroy the goat head on the back to prevent his powerful magics and finally beat up the lion's head until he finally dies. Now after the chimera fight, we will want to go to the second floor of the cave, and over here we will find the chest. For reference, this is where we are on second floor, and to reach here, start from the place we find the chimera here, follow this path down to the southeast, and you will find a place to climb up to the second floor. Now open the chest, you will be given both Nation's Death Nail and Howling Blizzard. However, a leech will spawn immediately, and you have to kill him. He's easier than the Gore Chimera, but still a tough enemy. He's weak to blunt damage, so use that to your advantage.
The leech will drop eminent coat, a body armor for mage with quite nice stats. Now that's two books out of the way, we are going back to Melv. You can simply walk back from the waterfall cave, and right in front of the village, you can find Dudley the merchant. Talk to him, and we can actually buy the third book, Fumina's Shield, directly from him. Please know that depending on where you are at the main story, you will only get the book after the Drake attack in Melv. So if you don't see it yet, travel between Melv and Wenworth until you trigger the event. Now the next book is in Wenworth. So let's take the ox cart right outside of Melv and head him back to Wenworth. This ox cart's bound for Wenworth. I'll not take you anywhere till I've had my due. Now this part will be different depending on where you are in the main story. We are looking for the NPC Warder, the magistrate. He can be in either of two locations: the jail inside Vermont Castle, or the vault next to Grisha's hand in East Wenworth. Now I will give you another guide on the caged magistrate questline in a separate video. Once you complete it, talk to him and exhaust the dialogue. He will simply give you the fourth grimoire, Towering Earth. Here it is, Towering Earth. The Forsaken Text. Now, for the fifth and the final grimoire, we will need to use Oxcart again, and this time it is from West Wenworth Oxcart Station. This will take us to the checkpoint rest town. This Oxcart's bound for the checkpoint rest town. As we approach the town, we can see a large house on top of the hill, and that's where we're heading towards. Just go from this way. And go up the slopes here. Gathering materials makes for dull work indeed. And here we are in front of Murding's house. But before we go in, we need to change our outfit. To something more appropriate, the courtly tunic and courtly breeches should do. You will get them easily as you play through the main story. Now that we have changed, looking very dashy and ready to go, Merding will come out and invite us in. Very well. You may enter. Talk to Merding inside. He will give you the quest, the sorcerer's appraisal. Perhaps you would allow me to test your resolve. Bring me the grimoires. He also asked for the same five grimoires as the ones Trisha wanted, but there is a way to complete them both, and I will show you later. Now exit from the house and look left. We can see a half-destroyed wall here, so let's just go there and climb up. From here, we can jump across to the balcony and reach Murding's study. And here it is, the fifth and the final grimoire. Light there be light. There are some other interesting things here. Feel free to loot them all. Now we have all five books. Don't hurry to give them any yet. They are books, so let's just go make some photocopies. From Murding's house, we are heading down this way. And over here, we can find a small shop. That is Abraham Scrap Store. Let's talk to Abraham. He will give us an option to request a forgery. So, select one of the five books we have collected and ask him to make us a forgery. I shall have your order crafted in good time. A little patience is all I ask. It will take some time, so let's just head over here. And there's a bench for us to wait for time to pass. Press those off four times, which will pass a full day for us. Now on the next day, let's go back to Abraham. Welcome, sir. If you think me a liar, 
Then buy something and see the truth for yourself. Choose Take Forgery. It will give us back the original as well as the copy. The counterfeit will have a slightly different name for you to identify. Now repeat the process for another four times until you have a forgery for all five books. From here, we can head back to Merding's house and talk to him. We want to give him the fake ones only, so make sure you carefully look at the names. The one we want to give him are Light There Be Light, Fruminous Shield, Nation's Death Knock, Hurling Blazard, and Lowering Earth. Funny enough, he will simply accept the fake ones and complete the quest for us. Now we have acquired Merdin's Chronicle. You start, and we will learn the spell Maelstrom. He's also given us Ares Morpho Robe, an amazing armor gear for all three spellcasters. But it looks a bit strange on my character. Something's off. One of the sleeps is too long, perhaps? Okay, now we have left with five real grimoires. We will be heading back to Ines' home. Take our well-established route, Oxcart from Outpost Town to West Vinworth, and then Oxcart from North Vinworth to Melf. From Melf, we walk all the way back to Ines' home again. Talk to Trisha when her grands are not here. Have you brought me a grimoire, sir? And make sure you give her the real ones. They will be Let There Be Light, Fulminous Shield, Nation's Death Nail, Howling Blazard, and Towering Earth. Thank you for all the grimoires, sir. She seems very heavy and will give you Turquoise Ring as a reward. What happens next for us is to wait for a few days before coming back and checking on her again. But remember when I say if you can't find Annie's body if she's dead? For that, we will need to head to Vermont Channel House. Talk to this guy, and he will tell you whose body is here. For only 5,000 gold, he will kindly give you such information. I have placed a mark upon the body you seek. Now head down to the mark. Ines' cop will be placed in a coffin with lights on. We have no choice but to revive her with a weak stone. You have my gratitude. Now, after that, wait for a few days, we can finally go back to Annie's home again and check on Trisha. As we approach the house, we will hear screams and Trisha starts to wreak havoc. Our goal here is trying to reach and tackle Trisha and not get killed in the process. Don't worry that she always teleports away from you. Eventually she will run out of stamina and give you the window. After we have calmed Trisha down, Annie thanks us and asks us to visit again the next day. You must come visit us again, once she has recovered. No need to go anywhere further. There's a campsite just outside Annie's home. So let's just head here and camp for a day. Materials such as this can be combined to craft things. Different combinations of materials result in different creations. I do hope you have brought camp supplies. Okay, it's morning now. We can go back to Annie's home and check up on Treasure. Treasure was very thankful and kindly offered to teach us a few tricks she learned. From her, we get conjurous jottings. I'd like to teach you a special one. But don't leave just yet. 
Any will also want to talk to us. She gave us the Enchanter's Almanac. With my blessing. Use Enchanter's Almanac. We will learn Celestial Pain. Use Conjurer's Jottings. We will learn Material. Now there you have it. This concludes the two very long and difficult quests, Spellbound and Sorcerer's Appraisal. I do hope you find this video helpful. Please leave a like and subscribe for future content gaming. In the end, let's take a look at what these ultimate magic spells look like in action. As always, thanks for watching and see you next time.